All right, welcome to my video on quadratic functions. We're going to be talking about the basics of quadratic functions here. Now, a quadratic function is anything that fits the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Most importantly, it has to have that x squared term, and that has to be the highest degree term. Can't have anything with a variable to the third power or above. You want the variable to the second power to be the biggest. And you don't have to have the, the bx and the c to be a quadratic function, but you have to have this part right here. Now, we've worked with quadratic functions before. We've been factoring them using the diamond method, breaking them into two parentheses. Well, now we're going to leave them as they are, and we're going to be answering some specific questions about the quadratic function that we are taking a look at. Specifically, does it open upward or downward? If we were to graph it, is it going to make a U shape? Or is it going to make kind of like an umbrella type shape? This would be upward. This would be downward. Okay. We're also going to talk about what is this thing called the vertex and where is it located? How do we find it? And since we're going to be doing our graphing on a website, the vertex will be very easy to find. We'll talk about eventually how to find it by hand, but for now, we're going to basically have it given to us. And the vertex, what it is, is the lowest or the highest point in the graph. So when it is opening upward, the vertex is going to be the lowest point all the way down here. The when we have the graph opening downward, the vertex is going to be the highest point somewhere up here. So the vertex is the lowest or the highest point in our graph for our quadratic function. Your graph is either going to go down, 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 down until it hits the vertex, stops going down, and then goes back up, or the opposite, goes up, 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 hits that vertex, and then goes down, 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 down from there. The third question we're going to answer is, is that vertex a maximum or a minimum for the function? And what we mean by that is, well, basically, is it the lowest point or is it the highest point? So down here, when our vertex is the lowest part of our upward uh, opening quadratic function, the vertex is going to be a minimum because you're getting lower and lower and lower or fewer and fewer. Then you get to your smallest point, the lowest point, and it goes back up. So this would be a minimum. Up here, it would be a maximum because it's getting to the highest point and then it goes back down. And lastly, what is the domain and range? And domain and range are what values of x for the domain and y for the range does the function uh, exist on? One of them is going to be the same thing every, th every time. One of them is going to change depending on how our graph looks. So let's take a look at these graphs. We're going to do some graphing of their, our own. And when you're graphing, I highly recommend, if you don't have a graphing calculator, that we use desmos.com. This is going to be our best choice for graphing. So you're going to want to go to www.desmos.com. And when you do, it'll look like this. You're going to want to hit Start Graphing. And it will bring up our graphing page. And over here is where you're going to type in all the functions that you need to graph. Now, to make it easy for us, they have a little keyboard on here. So you can type it out on your own keyboard, or you can type it out using this one. The very first one we are going to graph is y equals 2x squared. So we'll hit y equals 2x squared. And this gives us our parabola. Okay, and actually I'm going to take a screenshot of this parabola and we're going to bring it back to where I can type about it. So let's take a screenshot. I'm going to copy it back into my notebook. And then we can answer some questions about this graph, specifically the four questions from here. So let's grab those two. And we're going to answer them. 
There we go. All right, so this, remember, was the function y equals 2x. The very first question we want to answer is, is this opening upward or downward? And hopefully just by looking at the graph, we can see that it is opening upward. So our answer for A would just be upward. Okay, if it was going the other way, if it was going like this, that would be downward. But that's not what it's doing. It's opening upward. Now B. B says what slash where is the vertex? So we, when we're answering these, we just want to know where it is. And we're going to have a coordinate. It's going to be something in parentheses. And it is this little point right here. Now we can very easily see on my picture here that it's at the origin. So this would be 0, 0. Okay, there is our vertex, 0, 0. But if we were looking back at the actual graph on Desmos, oops, let's bring it back up. All we got to do is click on it, and it tells us exactly where the vertex is, 0, 0. Pretty nice. So your vertex is basically just going to be finding what looks to be the lowest point, clicking on it, and getting that coordinate. All right, is the vertex a maximum or a minimum? Well, as we said earlier, when we have an upward-facing parabola, a quadratic function, it's takes the shape of a parabola. When it's opening upward, this vertex is getting lower, 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 lower. We're getting the smallest point, and then we're going to go back up. So whenever we have an upward opening parabola, it's going to be a minimum. So we would just say that it is a minimum. Okay. And then finally, what is the domain and the range? This is the one that's going to take a little bit of thinking, at least for part of it. The domain is always going to be the same for these. The domain is all real numbers. In a quadratic function, every single x value we can have will give us a y value. So all x values will work, so we're going to have all real numbers. The range is the tricky part. Range is the y values. And it's basically saying, hey, what y values are going to exist for all of this function? Now let's take a look back at the actual graph. On this actual graph here, what do you notice about the y values going up and down? Well, the y values never go below the vertex, which is at 0, 0. The y value is 0. So the y values never go below that. And if I zoom out, okay, all the way down here, the graph never exists. But it goes bigger than that 0. It goes up and up and up. So we would say that the domain is y greater than or equal to, okay, we got to put that little line in there. I can't, I don't have a symbol for it. So y is greater than or equal to zero. And there's our range. y is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. It can be zero exactly because we have a closed circle here, or we can be bigger than it. But it's never going to be negative in this function. In other functions, it might be negative. It just depends on what's happening. And we'll see maybe another example of that in a few moments. But there we go. We have just answered all four of our questions. Does it open upward or downward? What or where is the vertex? Is the vertex a maximum or a minimum? And then what is the domain and range? So now let's take a look at a different function, one that looks maybe a little bit differently, and we're going to answer these same four questions. So let us go back to Desmos. We're going to get rid of our function. And now let's type in y equals 
negative 3x squared plus 1. And take a look at what our function looks like this time. I'm going to put that vertex in before I take my screenshot. And let's bring this back to our notebook. Okay, and we're going to want those same four questions in that same order, just to make sure we answer them all. So what do you notice is different about this function this time? This was y equals negative 3x squared. Oops, let me fix that. y equals negative 3x squared plus 1. Well, hopefully you're saying that this time it's opening downward. It doesn't look exactly the same. The first time it opened upward. Now it's opening downward. So that's going to be the answer to our first question here. Is it opening upward or downward? It's opening downward. Second question, where is the vertex? Well, I highlighted it before we took the picture. It's at 0, 1. So our vertex is 0, 1 comma 1. And you know both times the x value has been 0, it can be anywhere. It can be all the way over here, it can be all the way up here. It doesn't have to always have x being 0, just so we know. But all right, we've answered upward or downward. What where is the vertex? Is the ver now we're on to is the vertex a maximum or a minimum? So why don't you ask yourself, is that vertex the highest point, making it a maximum, or is it the lowest point, making it a minimum? Hopefully you say that it is a maximum, it is the highest point. Whenever you have a downward facing parabola, the vertex will always be a maximum. Just like whenever you have an upward facing parabola, the vertex will always be a minimum. All right, three of the four questions done. Now we just got to do the two-parter, is what is the domain and range? Domain, what did we say it was? Always all real numbers. Domain is always all real numbers. And the range, those are the y values, once again. So we've got y, but look at our y values this time. Now we've got a maximum where y doesn't get bigger than 1. Your y value is going up and down, goes up, 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 all the way to 1. It never gets to 2 or anywhere close to it. And then it goes all the way back down. So this time, y has to be less than or equal to, less than or equal to, what value? What value is it going to be less than or equal to? 1. It is less than or equal to 1 because y will get equal to 1, but it'll never go bigger than it. It can only go smaller or fewer than 1. And there we have it. We have answered all four of our questions using Desmos, getting is it upward or downward? Where is the vertex? Is it a maximum or a minimum? And what is the domain and range? Hopefully you found this video helpful. And good luck.